Yes, family. We left Barra. Huh? Nobody tell you that. Like fella. Oh, fella? Fella <laughs> tribe. Oh, fella tribe. It's my brother and your family. He's saying he's got a good mind him up for someone. But family, hey, Mr. Man, I'm coming down. Hey, where are you at? Say what's up, man. We can start getting in our vehicle. Now, son, we're gonna get in our vehicle. The family, we literally, literally left from Barra. And now we're here, pulling into Banjul. And this is another ferry you see ahead of us. And, and this ferry is headed to Barra. And while we're heading to Banjul, Brother, a little while ago, was explaining this is a, a power ship that's connected to the grid that powers um, Banjo. They're kind of close. And, you know, there we go. I'm always wondering how these, the proper way to spell Kunta Kente. So I'm, glad, I'm glad, happy that we have it correct in the book. And I, So this much bigger one right there. Yeah. You know? It's a family, you know. It, this is our naval operation here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Folks didn't know we had a navy and then that's that that's a a luxury liner right there. Family, welcome so, to the Gambia, Barra and Banjo. So this ferry had a breakdown, and these are the technical people who were trying to work on the ferry. Now this ferry is going to pick them and take them down. They are working on the other ferry. And I see a dock. I see um, you know, the dock right there. And where is our Banjo port? It's by you now. We are going to dock down there. Just come to these people here. We're going to be down. Perfect. So, family, that is Banju right there. And Banju is an island, also, right? It's an island, yeah. yeah. It's an island. You see the bridge when we go. As we go, you see the bridge. Because once we cross over uh, into Banju, and we're going to get to, is it Bacau? Bacau, yeah. We're going Bacau. to Bacau. You know, I'm always trying to pronounce the names correct and things like that. Bacau. Bacau. And then the part of Bacau we're going to be in is Cape Point. Yes, Cape Point over there. Collecting these people, they are working on the other problem. This ferry had another problem. So the mechanics are there, and they are fixed working today. They are going back home. They are picking them up. They are picking them up. Now, the other ferry had a small issue, so they are working on it. Got it. Yeah, so now we're collecting them, and we go back to our dock. This is by you now. Now, you see, this ferry is going to start. Going to start. Going to start. There you go, man. Appreciate the explanation. They are going for fishing. So, was that one of the boats that left from Barra? No, this no, no. This you have the one go from. This one are the one going to fish during the night. Oh, nighttime fishing. Night, nighttime fishing. They catch shrimps, tilapias, barracudas. These are the people they go for night fishing. Hey, fam, that sounds like a lot of good seafood. Yeah, seafood. Yeah. <laughs> Mister Man. Some more money that carry right there. But family, the last time I was here in <laughs> Senegal and here in the Gambia was in 2006, family, literally 15 years ago. And that was the same time I connected to the Ghana era where I just couldn't get enough of Ghana. But um, we're back to, you know, to make this roots and culture journey, Senegal and the Gambia work. And trust me, family, I've I put a few itineraries out um, even 10 years ago. It's, it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't connect, you know. But you go back to the drawing board, and then from that drawing board, you just put that work in and make the adjustment. And you know, we have better support and better energy, and, you know, and better technology and all that good stuff. And the experience is one of the biggest things. Even though it's 
uh, been a long time since I've been here to the Gambia. I do remember a journey from Barra to Banjul on this uh, boat and, and the ride from uh, you know Dakar all the way you know, to the Senegalese Gambia border. So be careful. <laughs> Hey son, that's not cool. Oh, oh, Alright, Mr. Man, what are you doing? There's a hole for us, we're gonna... Uh, hole for us and we're gonna get in the vehicle and uh, we're gonna pull off. Alright, so my brother, um, where did he go? He went down to the bus. Alright, perfect. So family, we're gonna head on down so we can uh, get on our bus and drive through Banju on the way to Bacao. Yes, that's it. We are family. That's it. And we all be watching out for the uh, Bomani and everything like that. You know that. That's it, man. Um, I told him to keep playing around. I'm gonna leave him somewhere. Yeah, you took the salt shake away from him at lunch. <laughs> there you go, family. We're introducing our younger generation to Africa because most of us literally just started traveling to Africa in our adult age. So our children have great opportunities for the future. Yeah? Like it took you a few decades to get to Africa, and my little boy started going when he was two years old. So I told him it's like, oh, you know. You're that future generation that we're gonna empower, not just gonna tell you just to go out there, and, you know. Okay, and right that's all perfect. And perfect, cool. Hold on. And you know, we're hoping just really enjoying these beautiful videos in the highest level of technology, you know. 4K HD. That's what we shoot with. That way, when you're watching this on your fancy big screen, 75 or 65 inch TV, you know? And then, then once, you, once you enjoy it, you turn around and write that check, and we get you that experience. My cash app. They're making something about cash at me nowadays. <laughs> Hey, there it goes. No limitation, family. We got one Ghana shirt right there, and we got one Senegal hat right there. We are here. And that wasn't bad, right? about 30 minutes. Yeah. And literally this port, when you hear that little hit and that little shake right there, that means you know you are there. You line it up, lock it in, and we just drive off smooth. See our, our bus is uh, shaking. See our brother right on top, making sure everything is lined up and set. You know, I literally thought it was lined up also. So what we mean we're gonna show you everything? We're literally looking to show you everything. Alright, cool, perfect, friend. We have a set, and as soon as the air yeah, is clear, we're gonna make, make, and make our move down. Alright, let's 
see how you know, as, you, as you can see our bus, the lights are on, the engine is running and we're about to board and make our move off. Yes, family, once we get to our hotel, we're just gonna have a nice little welcome dinner and get our energy ready and enjoy two days of touring tomorrow and the next day and then a nice uh, flexible day where we can just enjoy the resort, maybe go out for swimming, do a few other things and, you know, I'm gonna touch up this itinerary a little bit and make it even more efficient and exciting for 2022. You gotta think about the future, family. family is very excited happy and excited to see you know excited to be back in our beautiful you know the Gambia yes family for money time but 15 years later just happy that I opened my mind to studying our roots and culture and getting on the jet planes and saving up my money and experiencing Africa. This is the Bomani time alive in the flesh. All right, and yeah, I was all the way at the top. The family, so family, uh, the journey continues. <laughs> 